Hey there, I'm Morton. You might know me from things like the internet or not. It doesn't really matter. I have dyslexia. Dyslexia, dyslexia, I think that's how it's spelled. Dyslexia is this thing that happens in my brain, that happens in a lot of people's brains, where reading becomes really hard. Um, there are as many versions of dyslexia as there are people who suffer from it. In my case, when I see words I've never seen before, my brain takes the letters and just randomly jumbles them around, making them very hard to read. And until I know what the actual letter structure of that word is, my brain will insist it might be something else. So it results in things like, I'll consistently misspell words or even mispronounce words for the longest time until someone points out, actually, that's not how it's spelled. And, and when I write things, you'll often see red squiggly lines under pretty much everything I write. So. You know, things like spell check is very helpful. Um, it also results in when I'm reading large bodies of text, I have a hard time keeping track of what line I'm on and I'll sometimes skip lines or read a line twice or even skip entire paragraphs. All of this means I read really slowly. I, I read at about speaking pace. So reading a giant book like a thousand pages takes forever because it's just so much content to read and it requires such high level of focus just to get through it. When I go onto the internet, this gets a lot worse because on the internet, there's all these distractions. There are ads and there are things that pop up and there's fancy graphics and all this stuff that really distracts me from the focus of reading. So I wanna show you how I deal with content on the internet so that I can actually consume content properly in a way that works for me. I wanna show this to you because I think this might be a glimpse of how people are going to consume the content they find on the internet in the future. And that means the way I do things now might imp impact how you design content for the web in the future. It all starts with two things, an app and this thing, an e-reader. Let me explain. When I find something I want to read online, the first thing I do is see if it's more than a couple of paragraphs. If it's just a couple of paragraphs, I'll just read it online. If it's any more than that, I'll use this app called Pocket. Now, I have the free version. I've never bothered upgrading, but it works perfectly for what I need. So Pocket is a bookmarking tool that also strips content off pages and puts it into this nice user interface where you can just read the content without all the ads and other crap that's on the page. So the way Pocket works is you get this little bookmarklet in your browser, you click on that bookmarklet and you can tag the page you're currently on. And the Pocket does a bunch of magical work on the back end to pull out the actual content and save it into your page where you can then access that content later. And then I'll just tag the post with whatever it is that I think is relevant for me and it gets stored. Then we get to the e-reader. Now, this is a Kobo e-reader, Kobo. Kobo, something like that, Kobo e-reader. And the Kobo e-reader has an articles feature that links to Pocket. So that means once I've tagged content onto the internet using Pocket, I can read it on Kobo. And that means I can read the content in the environment I choose, being this e-reader that has a nice passive screen. I choose the font style, the font weight, the font size, how the pages break and everything. And I literally take the content that someone spent thousands and thousands of dollars on des designing on the web, strip it down to its basic text format and read it on my e-reader. This thing is how I consume content on the internet. And in the future, I bet you a lot of people will consume content on the internet in the same way. So as you focus on making all your sites fancy, Think about how people are going to take the content out and consuming it in other formats. Spend as much time thinking about the content itself as you do on how you present it, because in the future, the presentation might become irrelevant. 